Hello everyone. Welcome to today's Alibaba Cloud, Abasara Clouder. Today we are going to talk about a topic like、uh, use SLB to handle the large traffic to your website. This is、uh, today's Clouder outline.、So、at the very beginning, we will introduce the basic concept of load balancing, and then we will begin to introduce. Our Alibaba Cloud Server Load Balancer. What kind of components you need to configure to make a SLB can work、uh, very well. At the same time, we will introduce how the SLB was actually、uh, developed and organized. We will introduce SLB architecture, and for SLB together, you can、uh, gain the capability to. Not only for the high availability, but also for the disaster tolerance. We will give you some example about how to use the SLB to gain the disaster tolerance. Those kind of special scenarios,、um, and also we will introduce、uh, what kind of embedded security feature for SLB. And then at the very end of this、uh, cloud, we will use a console to demo how can we configure SLB、uh, from the bottom. Uh, with the backend, four backend servers, and we set up the four backend servers in two different zones to give you an overview of how the SLB can manage the backend servers,、uh, even across the zones. Okay, so let's talk about the load balancing first. We know traditionally when we have a web server. Provided to serve the customer about how can we、uh, deliver those kind of web service. Usually, we want to think.、Uh, we think like、um, if we can have a very powerful web server, it can do anything we want, right? It can provide any service and can can provide can serve、uh, and many other customers. But with only、uh, one web server, the problem could be、uh, there be Two major concerns you need to consider. The first one is definitely there will be one. There's always an up limit to one server, right? If your business is booming a lot, so a lot of new and new users is coming to visit your website. So one day, your website will definitely reach your up limit, and will definitely bring the By the very very bad user experience to your end user. Also, if you only have one web server, the problem could be the single point of failure. So, how about your servers got some power power break or, or some、uh, network connection issues? If your single server is down, which means your customer is can totally、uh, out of service, you cannot provide your service anymore. So. That's the problem. If you have only one, even very powerful web server, you need to consider. Well, so someone would say, okay, so how can I extend that kind of capability? Usually, you need to add one more,、uh, add more servers when your business is keep growing. Then you need to add maybe one more. But between end users to your multi servers cluster. Uh, how can the users know which server I need to access to? How how can the users know?、Um, I, I mean, definitely we want to be、uh, transparent to any user. Any user should not feel the the or should not feel the complex of the backend setup, right? So the question we remains that what kind of service or device we can put in the middle of the any user and the backend server, so to can not only.、Uh, Conquer the problems we mentioned, like the single point failure,、uh, like the 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 up limit、uh, service up limit, and also we can bring the same and consistent user experience to the end users. The answer is quite simple. The answer is that we need something like、uh, either an instance or either a service, like we call them load balancing、uh, device or software. So we can sit in the middle that they can and the.、Uh, uh, Agent to accept the request from the end user, then distribute the service using some kind of mechanism or algorithm to the backend servers, so can 
balance the load that's why it's called the load balancer